in the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate and equally important groups. The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Is willing to come up here. They'd be up here for two scenes, but you can. We're going to make it very painless for you. You're dead. How hard, how hard could it be to play a dead person? We'll find out. Who would like to be tonight's special? But there it is. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Say that again. Karis Barnett. Karis Barnett. name already. Here's, so here's the deal. We're going to need you to play the dead body. Okay. Now, you're going to be up here for two scenes. It'll be about four or five minutes. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Your choice. You can be laid out in any way you want to be discovered, right? Or we can provide a chair if you, like, you don't trust the sport. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Right. You're the artist. You lay down how you want to lay down, how you want to be discovered. Go ahead. Life snuffed out so young, so much opportunity, so much promise. But as you know, in law and order, people get discovered either out in you know out in public somewhere, who goes oh, over the body, or it's in a business somewhere or some other uh, place. Where was Karis found? Hobby bags. There it is. That's a hobby bag. Thank you so much. And without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we present Law and Order, episode 278C521, <laughs> entitled, Run, Days <laughs> Fiery 
new detective like yourself. Just to hear oh, it makes you smell like vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's pineapple peanut butter pizza pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh the most alliterative and disgusting of the Hagen Dots flavors. But they fit that at 76. Well, you know there's no rules here in Baltimore. So <laughs> What's that you see under the head there? It's a Raven's cap. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's with that? That's not a Raven's logo. Like it says Baltimore Ravens. What's yeah. that logo? Sorry, my eyes, I can't see. Like, it's, it's, uh, what do you call it? Not one. It's got the, uh, the, the, that crow character from the Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> the racist crow from the Looney Tunes? That'd make it awesome. Oh, check out. This town's really slipping. We've gone backwards to segregation. We've got a sick life. Of course, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Look at that leg tattoo. Dear Lord. All I see, my goodness, it starts as a yin and a yang. Right? Mm. But if you look closer, it's actually just a cassette tape. <laughs> it's a cassette tape of Freddie Jackson's greatest hits. <laughs> you know, I can see three of my children to Freddie Jackson. All <laughs> 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 three home ones, all the home ones. <laughs> anyway, I don't get that reference, but I appreciate it. Yeah, you're young. You're still young. You probably, you, you probably have sex to TikTok, don't you? <laughs> don't you? I hate to admit it, but yeah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Wait a minute. I guess, we should, I guess we should look at the choreography. I guess we should look at that giant gaping hole in her chest. Maybe yeah. that'll. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah, it looks like it was done by this, the uh, ice cream scoop. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> that was, uh, some lung came out. <laughs> <laughs> It's part of this job that I hate. It's all the wet stuff. Cassette <laughs> <laughs> tape tattoo. Racist. Racist. Hat. Racist. <laughs> Pro hat. Ice cream scoop. Crazy smell of the worst flavor of pocket dots in an ice cream scoop. Let me tell you something, brother. You and I, we need to serve up two scoops. Justice. Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, hello, we can put Saints and Sinners out here. Oh, sir. We're not doing well, I guess, sir. One saint, one sinner. Oh, would you like a tattoo? Well, uh, you have any discuss today? Seriously, <laughs> Rooks! <laughs> Look at them beauty without having time to get ink. You're not even allowed to be inked as a cop. I've let it fly. I've, I've seen some guys with some questionable tattoos back in the precinct. <laughs> so. Yeah, for the offices, yes, I keep a discount. No, 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 don't encourage him, don't encourage him. Sorry, your name, sir? Uh, Pierre. 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 Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, how can I help you? Well, uh, I'm just wondering, uh, you know anything about the uh, young ice cream scooper <laughs> named Karis? <laughs> Karis? Uh, Karis. Yes, she was in my shop about two weeks ago and uh, mm. got a little tattoo on her leg. Did she? Yes. <laughs> and uh, were you the one that put Freddie Jackson's greatest hits on that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, like all requests, but I didn't know. But, I didn't. Because it's a really old reference. Yes. <laughs> For very young girls, it was a very old reference. You are my lady. What? <laughs> you know you are my lady at home? Does that have to talk to me? Lord. I'm in ecstasy when you lay down next to me. <laughs> it wasn't his fault, but he covered it. <laughs> Never mind. I'm out. Well, you know, I, I can do the same tattoo for you. Seems like you'll be a fan. I am a big fan, but I'm more of a fan of justice. <laughs> Where were you two nights ago? Yeah. Uh, two nights. I was in the tattoo shop up here. Tattooing is a very late art form. 
Mm. Yeah, so you were here. So by yourself? Uh, oh no, there were others here. Uh, people yeah. who can corroborate this. Yes, yes. Because uh, Garrus is dead. That's right. What, you thought we just showed what we tattoo police? <laughs> <laughs> showed up to ask you about a tattoo? Yeah, she's dead. Well, I, I, well, I was waiting for an inspection of some sort, but. Uh, no. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's, how, it's severely underfunded. <laughs> how, close, how close were you to it? A little, uh, I'll barely do that. Barely. Barely. But, um, mm-hmm. We've been talking off and on about the tattoo for a few months. She's very, it was the first one. She's very nervous about it. Nah. And, um, so it wouldn't surprise you that when we searched the body, we found a slip of paper that says, Love always, Pierre. Ooh. Ooh. That wouldn't surprise you. I know I, I was smitten. You were smitten? Yes. <laughs> to find Smith on a Freddie Jackson scale. <laughs> so just getting to know you to let's 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 lay it down hard. <laughs> well, where on that scale were you? I don't say there's a kiss good anymore. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Just get a more of a foreplay type of situation. <laughs> so, obviously I know what that means, but let's say hypothetically, is that a little bit or a lot? <laughs> but I know it's shocking because young is going on up about four plays. Um, <laughs> it's what they call it, the talking stage. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. We just text nowadays. But I tell you what, Pierre, as much as I appreciate your style of lovemaking, <laughs> I need you to stay in town. We may be back. Uh, do come back. You can let the man use his hand. <laughs> <laughs> got the whole ice cream factory. You are a suspicious character, Wilhelmina. Can't believe they got off on a technicality. Technicality. But technically, the killing was done by some short orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Fled the country. Fled the country. Asylum. I'm not even here to talk to you about that. I'm going to take anyone. Look. I'm back. Uh-huh. Well, how do you feel about haagen you know, they're right down the street, across the street. You got two floors above you. Feels like they're squeezing you a little bit there, Wilhelmina. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, it's cheap. I guess it must be nice to be out there in the $12 a pint. It's cheap, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're selling this stuff? It's away from the workbench. This is. Wait a second. Why is that changing colors as I look at it? <laughs> Very. Perceptive of you. Not particularly, it's actively changing colors, yes. but okay. Yes, yes, it is. This is my new mood ring ice cream. Mm. <laughs> yes, you. What's my mood? Here you go, here you go. I got this. Great to tell your mood. All right, yes, all right. And then you stick, stick your tongue out. Let's see. It's not cold, it's hot. <laughs> no, I just, I'm confused. I'm just really confused. Is it because of his hot mood? <laughs> oh, it's back in. What? What does that mean? Well, tell me my emotion. Let's see how good it is. Emotion is. What's black mean? <laughs> Don't you start with that hat again. I'm going to break his throat. I don't have time. Don't worry about him. What's up? Uh, long, long story, you had to be there. What about the scoop girl? What about the scoop girl? Oh, mm. I, I'm very unfortunate. Yes, yes, I, I heard about our dear Paris, a oh. rising star. Oh, she was big time. She was big time in the ice cream game. Did you ever work with you? You ever collaborate on something? I might have mentored Paris. Really? Share. She, she did come to one of my workshops at the Open Center. In my ice cream workshops. I'm more interested in the fact that the uh, scoop that she was using 
was not measuring in metric, but in English common scale. <laughs> Very weird for a haagen -Dazs. haagen -Dazs being Swedish, who expected to use the metric system, and yet they had an American-style scoop in her chest cavity. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It's, it's incredibly unfortunate. They killed her. Wow, and for Hagen She died by the scoop. She lived by the scoop. <laughs> All right, well, somebody is very cavalier about the death of a young person. Hey, let me ask you a question. You taste that mood ice cream, would it come up guilty? Oh. <laughs> She was your dupe, huh? My travel. Spreading that racism around. <laughs> yes. so let me ask you this. Who do you think would have killed her? Because she's so dead. Um, she's dead. Uh, I don't know how to make this simple. What? She's dead. Got her at the Hagen Dazs two nights ago. That yep. Sense. I haven't gotten any money for days. That's what you care about? All you care about is the son of a racist. Good lord! I thought Stalin was evil. Paris <laughs> <laughs> gone? Just like that? She was so young! Yes! She's the tragedy! So beautiful! This is you the keep thing. saying she's beautiful. Don't back up. <laughs> I can't chase you any farther. I have a simple question for you. What's that? How well did you know her? Romantically. She was my heart. So. Intimately. Is that a reference? <laughs> not, not to Freddie Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Jackson? We danced every night to Freddie Jackson. I, look, 
Uh, I'll look it up later. I'll yeah. Look, uh, <laughs> look, do me a favor, uh, racist hat lady. <laughs> Karana. Karana. Just stay here. Do it again. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, 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 ah! Can a Swedish person even do that? <laughs> Honestly, as an artist myself, I kind of find that one funny. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Truth about Hagen dots? <laughs> What's going on here? Look, Hagen dots came up with this fake Swedish name, <laughs> and all of a sudden that people on the earth are going to say better ask me, well, it's not. <laughs> it's got Uma, that makes it fancy. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Uma's fancy. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> anyway. It's business. It's a competitive mm -hmm. business. Right? Cutthroat business, would you say? Yes, cutthroat business. Mm -hmm. I'm doing Sweet chess business. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Scoop <laughs> chess indeed. Are oh, don't act like the word doesn't get up and down the ice cream vine. You know exactly what happened. Don't you? You know what happened. Don't you? Don't you know what happened? You know what happened to her. No, I don't. What? She's dead. And there's a scoop in her chest the size of your contempt for umlauts. <laughs> <laughs> killed her. Karen's is dead? Oh, you surprised us. Who's gonna do her only fans tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Wait, there's only two possibilities here. I don't like either one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to shame a dead woman? <laughs> or were you part of this OnlyFans? Is this some kind of freaky ice cream thing? <laughs> I see. Yeah, that's the thing. That's a thing? Yeah, rule 34. Seriously, and I thought Freddie Jackson was the problem. All right! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Aren't you part of the pan 69? Woo! Oh, oh. Yum. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That sounds like a made up name. <laughs> yeah. What did you and Karis do on this dairy, lactose, apparently extremely tolerant <laughs> website? Karis is so beautiful. So they all say that. They all say that. <laughs> so talented. What talented? she could do was ice cream. I'm <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> we could charge premium rates for that time. <laughs> That's just vanilla. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you add in a little buttermilk, a little fresh mint, mm. some strawberry. Mm -hmm. So of course, you weren't upset that she was planning on going solo and getting out the game. Of course I was. Because, you know, this, this Baskin Robbins ice cream is crap. <laughs> Oh, the truth comes creeping out, melting away from you. You can't have 31 flavors and they're all good. <laughs> I'm chasing Baskin Robbins, they can't do one right. Right, but, 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 but there is a very large ice cream fetish community, shall <laughs> Okay, Beth, you know what? Don't you go nowhere. You, seriously, we're going to go see HR on Monday. <laughs> Now, 
no, George, I'm not going to take $100,000 as a settlement. Oh my God, you throw that in the toilet and flush it every day. Come on, you absolutely know that I deserve more than that. You know I deserve more than that. You're my brother. You have to put me in your will. You have to leave everything to me. I'm just so hard for, oh, I'm sorry. I've got two idiots in my room. Oh. <laughs> just get in here. Come on, I got an important call. All right. Uh, hey, hey, boss, sorry. Sorry about the whole uh, losing family. Farm thing. Um, you bring that up every time you go there. You think it ingratiates yourself to me? Is that the right word? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just try, I mean, I'm trying to do it. HR guy said so I need to be more empathetic. Sensitivity training. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What do you have for me? You better solve this one. This one's beautiful. Karis was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look. No one is arguing against that, and that's why we've got it nailed. It's the it's yeah, Henrietta, the Willy Wonka of mood ice cream. Mm -hmm. yeah. She had such a deep-seated hatred of anything loving or kind or worth anything. In this, it's her. It's her. We still don't know what happened to those five kids. You know we don't know what happened to those five kids. <laughs> what, boss? When you're in a hole, quit digging, okay? No way that that's who that was. What the? She, 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 she was with me. What? That what? Night. That Henrietta day. was with you. That day she was with me. We were tasting ice cream. We were tasting pineapple, peanut, pomegranate, <sighs> praline, praline ice cream. Not, I'm sorry, you know, you guys okay. screwed up again. How do you even get out of the building? The door. <laughs> okay, look, look, go to, go to the Emmy, okay? Emmy? Medical right. examiner's got right. something for you, you're going to want to see. All right. You know, boss, you might want to diversify your crops. Just okay. grow crop rotation now. Never mind. George, Never mind. listen, listen, I agreed to mother your bratty children when you got here. <laughs> please leave me. Oh, oh, don't you hang up on me! Oh, how 
have just got another ice cream maker. Excuse us, excuse us, congregation. Pastor, have a seat if you would. Just a second. Sorry about this. You can't come in here. Oh, we can't, huh? For the police. You can do whatever we want. Especially when it comes time for another criminal to take a love TKO. That's right. I can refer to Pendergrass as well. I got an extensive knowledge. You're under arrest for the murder of Harris. That is a <laughs> All right, folks, you've seen the cops. Now it's time to take it to the legal system. It's time to go to the court. And to do that, though, we are once again going to need to have one volunteer, someone to come up and be, that's right, a paralegal. Not only are you going to get the wonderful sad card that are in, incredibly beautiful and, and sorry about the other things we said, uh, victim, but now the, uh, the paralegal is going to deliver a few slips of paper, some information that you all wrote before the show, but also they get to have one line. So who would like to be our paralegal and deliver these messages to our DA and ADA? Anybody? Come on up for us. One person, I promise to pay us. Everybody's looking at each other like if I look at you long enough. <laughs> Just, there it is. Thank you so much. So, first thing first, your name. Monica, big round of applause for Monica. Monica, there may only be three in here, but if you could pull three out, please. That's maybe four, but okay, yes. Make sure we got three, and you keep them. Don't show them to me. Those are the, those are the famous blue slips. You're going to deliver those to the prosecutor in a little bit. Right now, all I need you to do, you just sit right here. When you hear them call for the paralegal, the call for Monica in this next scene, you enter, deliver them, and then you say one line, anything you want, and then you can head on back. Feeling up to it? Yeah. All right. Let's be right with you. Now that the court has been set up here, we're going to take you a little behind the scenes of the court to the DA's working office. Ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of Law and Order Special Improv Unit.
It's so nice. <sighs> okay, so you ready to find out what judge you're up against? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, hold on. Judge Flake. Who's <laughs> gonna be Judge Flake? <laughs> She's always late. I know. Since you forget she has to be a judge at 8 a.m. every morning. You think, like, did my crystal ball tell me I'm judging today? <laughs> uh, yeah. I just want to, like, you just hand out judgeships? I guess they do. Uh, or, or maybe the crystal ball appointed the judge. Sure. You know? Wow, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so your ADA. Oh, oh it's Gladys. Your ADA is Gladys. <laughs> well, Gladys, Gladys and I, we, um, we dated in the late 80s. <laughs> yeah, we bonded over to Crush Mode. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little more than I need to know. I just couldn't get enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> she was like my first in Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it was really like a turn, and like I knew her in grad school, and she took a like, turn for professional. She was a very, um, very goth. Yeah. Yeah. And you? What? Did you know? I was more of a YouTube person. Yeah. Yeah. I was, um, had, a, had a, like an Irish music phase, and that was. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to catch up on music now, because like, I was just so busy. Just like climbing the ladder, you know, that, that just I didn't have time for music. Well, I mean, you've made it to this nice desk here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love the little like click clack professional ball, the ball thing. I, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the pendulum of balls. I don't know. I think of it as balls of power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you're going to go and you're going to win this case. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you can come with me, boss. It's open and shut. Here's the case of just ice cream related <laughs> racist European murder. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Go get him. Okay. 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 Let's see. Like we need justice today. 
Who did they get? First witness.
<laughs> Look, there's sisters in the jury. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> I can't come out here and say I like white women. Are you kidding me? I want to get out of here. I've already died once. <laughs> I've already died twice. Yeah, I don't like white women. You're right. That's all I have, Your Honor. Witness may step down. Maybe it matters if you're black or white. <laughs> knockoff uh, Baltimore Ravens hat, except that the Ravens logo was replaced with the Looney Tunes cartoon crow, which I, I did not realize until it was pointed out to me is actually a racist caricature from the <laughs> cartoon crow. Known for its racism. <laughs> to, to people who were around then, I guess. I, it didn't come across when I saw them on repeats as a child. Now, did you come across any musical frogs that like to kick represent <laughs> over the air TV show. I just just Actually, now that you mentioned it, I did see that on one of the hats at the racist hat store. Now, were there any lyrics around the crowd that you may have recognized? None that I'm going to repeat. <laughs> well, let me see if uh, this <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Hello, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just took 
told you my part right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to call my client. They're very unguilty. <laughs> but would you come to the store? Okay, so how many people raise your hand? 
sake. Henrietta is hot and guilty. <laughs> okay, and how many think she is hot and innocent? Woo! Ah, uh, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> the defendant is guilty of murder! Thank <laughs> you. 